Let's play Ticket Classic with AIM. Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to show you a little bit about computer craft, or at least as much that I um, know. I don't know much, but I know a few simple things and I can show you how to do that. Uh, first off, we're going to show you how to make them, which is quite easy. Um, to make a monitor, it is like that with some glass panels. That, wait. No, it's like this. So we're going to make um, two of those. And then we're also going to make a few monitors. Uh, that should be enough. No, oh, glass, duh. And we'll just make um, one more monitor. Or not monitor, a uh, computer. We'll make three computers and a monitor. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is how to make, like, I think it would work with the trap door, but we're going to do it with this door right here. But if you put it here, and then put the computer down, um, this is a very easy, simple word door. It's not very safe for passwords or anything, but let's do edit. Um, uh, let's play. Let's be the name of the thing. Now, if you do redstone, let's see, red dot set output the doors on the left oops I cannot spell at all there we go what is happening my computer is typing keys without me doing it put um I'm going to pause and I'll be right back and figure out what's happening to my computer. Okay, now that I got that taken care of. But um, if the door's on the left, you do um, left. If it's on the top of the door, like if this is under the door, you do uh, top, bottom, whichever. But since it's there, I'll do true. Make sure when it says redstone dot set output that the O is capitalized. It does matter. It also matters if you can actually spell, which I can't. Sleep. Um, this is how, how long it stays open. I think I'm not. Yeah, it's how long it stays open before it does the next thing. Redstone dot set. Output. No, I'm not doing this right. Uh, false. Okay. Uh, term dot clear. So that way, when you um, after it does this, it'll turn the term uh, terminal. So you can retype stuff so it doesn't show what you're typing. Uh, control save. Control exit. Um, reboot. Okay. Um, let's play. See? The door opened. Um, this, I think this will work with any, um, let me... Try it with the trap door over there, but it should work with um, anything that needs that redstone. So if you want to do um, like piston doors, it would work with that. Um, that is not actually a creeper. Sorry, devil. It's not gonna work. Yeah, but if you do it again, let's play. It opens the trap door. And then after a few seconds, it'll clear that out. Like that. So that's how you do 
um, basic redstone power signal. Very easy. Now to, um, let's see, monitor signs. Okay. So I'm going to do edit startup. I'm going to do mon equals, oops, mon ooh, equals, no, that's not equals, equals peripheral dot warp. It's also on, it's on the top this time, so you do top. And then mon dot clear. Uh, when you do mon equals the peripheral warp, that means you don't have to type that thing over and over again, but it just works easier this way, so it's faster. Dot set text um, scale two. Um, that gives it an average size. Um, mon dot right. Oops. Um, hello. I did forget something. So, um, okay. Yeah, no, not that far up. Need to fix this. Okay, but after text scale, or if you have the screen more, if you're gonna have more than one word, you can do um, mon set cursor or where you want it, really. Pause. One, grab one, oops, one. That'll make it the first line at the top and keep it going. And then I'm going to do mon dot set cursor pause to two mon dot right. Um, bye. And that's the easy sign. And I'll let you look at that for a few seconds. But, um, you can add more lines to it and make a bigger monitor screen. But this is just for a little tiny one. And if it doesn't, oop, I did something wrong. Edit startup. Um, okay, that's correct. It is the top. Maybe it's not the top. Oh, I forgot a uh, letter. You okay? Exit reboot. No, okay, so that might not actually be the top. So we're gonna put we're gonna get rid of this door and try left, see if that helps any. There we go. Now, I don't know a lot about computer craft. I just know some basics. I cannot spell. Edit. Start. Up. Okay, so we're going to switch the top to left. And we're going to try that and see if it actually works. Nope. 
No. That is a bit weird that it's not actually working. Um, cause that's the code I'm using for my other places. Let's just try this. Uh, reboot. Yeah. Um, we'll go somewhere else real quick and I can show you from there what I've done because that should be right. I'm going to pause real quick. Okay, this is the one I have for my shop. So everything seems to be correct on here. I'm just going to look at that and then try to see what's wrong with the other one because it says left. So, mm, okay, I think I know what's the issue. Um, let's go, okay, edit, let's try putting right down, I don't know if that would help or not, but, um, I have the peripheral, the clear text cursor, Right, curse. Yeah, that should be all that's needed. And then control, save, exit, reboot. No. That is really odd. Hmm. I don't know why that's not working because it normally does work. Unless I have something mistyped. That is really odd. Well, that one isn't working, but I can show you, I can go back and just show you this one, because this one does work. Yeah, because this is the same as that one, but this one's actually working. So that's a little weird. I, as I said, I don't really know a lot about computer craft, but I know how to do a few basic commands. Um, now if we do warp here, which is to my mall, head up, um, I'm going to show you how to get a few fun things on, oh, there it is, onto different monitors. But on here, this is a program. I didn't program it, so I don't know. I did the password wrong. Yay. Um, but there is a few password protected programs that are hack proof and whatnot. I don't know how to do that because um, when the admins came on, just stuck it onto the computer. Um, this is a four by eight monitor, so it's 32 monitors. But if you type in monitor top slash or not slash secret slash a long time ago you will have a movie plane um these this is that is built into like every computer so you should be automatically able to play it and it's basically the Star Wars movie um, in Minecraft. So that's kind of cool. Um, let's see. Oops. Program. Uh, there's a few built-in programs. 
the fun ones or would be worm and adventure so if you do adventure oops adventure you'll have adventure pop up you're standing in a pine forest it is daytime there's some stone here there are trees here and you can do like punch tree kill tree to get some wood and basically it's minecraft on a computer this one is if you type in worm you can play the worm game which is interesting just basic controls I like so let's see if I can there we go game over uh, this one is internet chat so it's a program that one of the admins found on a line and put to the computer but basically it's a chat room within a chat room um, that's basically it so that's all I know how to do on computer craft I'm not sure why the sign did not work let me try to get this to stop playing Let's do, okay, edit, start up, we'll see if we can get it to work on here, I'll pause while I type in the stuff so you don't have to see me type it again. Okay, we're going to see if this actually works, it sh hopefully should, don't see why it's not, but, reboot. Yeah, I don't. Mm. That is really weird. Um. Let's just try up. Oops. Yeah, I don't know why that's not working. Um, I'm gonna fiddle with it with a little for a few minutes off camera, and then if I can get it to work, that would be really nice but let's do pause real quick um, now that I think about it I think I figured out why it wasn't working um, usually when you, I type in wrap I automatically type in warp so I probably spelled it in wrong and not didn't realize it so we're going to try this one more time um, apparently it also tells you what line is wrong let's see mon equals dot warp. see I automatically type it like that but it's supposed to be like this so that's most likely what I did and oops there we go so this time it should work. I'm also going to show you a few tricks to help you figure out what is wrong that I just figured out a few minutes ago when I was doing another sign. Um, this is for one of the mall's jumping puzzle floors. Each floor will have a jumping puzzle. As you, The higher you go up the floors, the harder it gets until it's really hard. Um, let's see. Come on, right. Oops. Okay, we're gonna, that's wrong, but we're gonna, um, 
actually. We're going to leave out that symbol, that um, parentheses right there for a minute. And we're going to, it'll tell me in a, um, when I reboot it that, it'll, that I've messed up somewhere. So everything's right except for that one symbol right next to the coming soon. So we're going to save. Oh, to save you hit control and it takes you to the save thing. Oops. There we go. Enter. Okay, it says starting uh, string startup line that five there tells you what line it is. And it says add unexpected symbol. So if you go there, um, edit startup, count down to level f line five, one, two, three, four, five, right here. And then if I do that, it'll work and be all correct. So if I had done this, take it out that letter and redo it again, it'll be uh, an attempt to call nil, um, line four. Edit, start up. So that number will tell you what line your mistake's on, so it's a lot easier to find, which makes it nice. I just figured that out when I was messing around off, or when I was paused and figured I'd show you guys. So now that we have that all correct, we can save and exit, reboot, and see that there's no error startup messages, and the sign should say what we want it to say. So I've already done a few floors, I've done this floor is now finished, the third floor is finished with their sign, and this one's finished. Cake Jumper Parkour Level 1, which is just fairly simple. You get, you grab a squid ink from this um, trader mat, take it, jump across, take it up, trade the squid ink for a cake. I don't know why you want a cake, but it's cake. Yeah, this is a fairly easy one. I have a good idea for what I'm going to do for the uh, top floor. But yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I'm glad I finally actually figured out what was wrong with their signs that we were doing earlier. So, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Goodbye.